guys, yeah, tonight we have another Mexican beer battle where we're taking the current champion, surprise champion, boom, Tecate Original, and we're taking it up against the new competition this week, and that will be Pacifico. Now, I'm trying to keep all of the delivery methods the same, so got the 24 ounce here, Going 24 ounce here. I wanted to keep can to can and one little can bottle give anybody a unnecessary advantage. So make sure the cups are labeled properly. Let's start cracking these suckers open. Now again, these both are relatively cheap <laughs> to buy. I believe Pacifico when I was at the store was actually like 20 cents cheaper for this size can. So not too bad. And they're both cheaper than Corona and Modelo and Tecate Beat. Corona last week. So, and quite frankly, we have reached a point of, I have absolutely no idea which beer is going to win. Uh, it's gotten to the point where I'm like, oh. I was wholeheartedly surprised last time that Takati won, even though I've always told myself that I like Takati better, but I've never done a blind taste test, and I just had that funny feeling that it was going to be um, Corona, but it was not, and here we are today. Okay, got my whole garden white water glass. And all right, we're gonna try to do this blind taste test. With the, I'm probably gonna spill beer all over the place because they're both pretty full. Um, so all right, we're just going to spin this around. So if you wanna check out the other videos so far, you can. Uh, there's been two others. The first episode was Modelo versus Corona, and Corona Extra won that battle. And then Takate won round two. And I'm just gonna keep going until, you know, there's really nothing else. And the winner, it is a winner moves on. Losers chopped out. Uh, I shouldn't have done that. Okay, I have um, no idea which cups which. I could probably rotate it like once and that I'm just waiting for me to <laughs> just knock one of these cups up. I put too much in. Um, okay. All right, good enough. All right. Ooh, yeah. These are all filled to the brim. I can't believe I, I spilled a little bit. I can't believe I didn't just poof, game over, man. All right. Not sure which one's which, but let's get into it. I'm gonna try this one right here first. Let's try the smell. It's a, uh, you know, it's a cheaper Pilsner. You got that corn kind of, some lemon zest going on. It doesn't smell funky, always a good sign. When you're paying like two bucks for a tall boy, non-skunky is always a good sign. So, no, I mean, it doesn't smell too bad. I feel like I should have like the coffee beans here. You know, like when you're getting cologne where you gotta get the coffee things. All right, let's see. This one, both the heads are pretty much gone. This one's got a little bit lingering more, but, they're they're both pretty uh, non-existent. This one smells a little sweeter, less bready, more um, there's definitely more of a, 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 a fruit sweetness to it, almost like a, a peachy kind of. Um, honestly, if I'm going hot day, beer, which one smells better? I 
I think I'm going with this one, I think, but this last whip, it, it, it was all kind of gone, so there's not a huge difference. I would probably lean to it, but I'm not picking a beer based. That one smells better. Um, so all right, let's get into the real test, and that's the taste. All right. Little nutty. Decent amount, not bad. Enough to give a little flavor. You still got a little lemon zest in there. Not too bready, not bready. I mean, a little subtle grain, but nothing over the top. You don't have like that funky wet bread, so that's good. Not terrible, not terrible. All right, let's go for this bad boy. Mm. This one definitely tastes a little more bitter. It's got more of the can taste to it. Yeah, I'm liking this one better. I kind of taste a little metallic. Again, sometimes maybe the beer sat in the can a little longer, but I, I, ugh, I shouldn't. That's a different problem. But. I mean, it, it, it's, once you move past that, or you get used to it, it's not, uh, I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world. Still got a little lemony, lemony kind of thing. It, it doesn't taste funky, it's just like, kind of tastes like the can a little bit. Oof. Those bubbles, man. They're fighting. Yeah, this one's pretty decent, pretty refreshing. Again, I think it would probably last. I think you can get through the entire uh, tall boy without, you know, even though it gets warmer. I don't think that, like that last half or the last inch or two where you're just like, oh, too, too warm and this is terrible. I don't think you have a problem with that because I think this one, when it gets warmer, will be okay. Hi, Poopy. Yes, yes, hi. No, dogs are... Yeah, the action. Yes, we'll, we'll go out. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this one, maybe it was just the initial metal. This one's, this one's, I'm warming up to it, honestly. This one's tasting better. But I think I'm still going with this one. I think this one's the winner. Um, I think this one was is gonna be better as it gets warmer. And um, this one, maybe I just got used to the metal. That initial like metal flavor, no good. That might just been a bad batch, bad can. I don't know. The can shouldn't be. The can's leaving flavor in the beer. You got a different problem. But all right. Drum roll. The winner is... Ah, 
Ding, 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 Takati. Oh, man, Takati, the first back-to-back -back champion has won two of the three. Yes, hi. And honestly, yeah, the more, I mean, so this is the second week in a row that the county's won, and it's it's really starting to seem like this could be a, a, a decent beer that's going to stay refreshing even as it gets warm. And while this one is 20 cents cheaper, I mean, this we're talking about like 229 versus 249. I mean, they're both pretty good. So, but um, yeah, so that is the blind taste test. Takati wins this round. Ooh, me bubbles. My burping is not winning this round. But um, all right, I will. I'm gonna have to figure out what the next round would be. I wanted to do the uh, Estrella Jalisco, but I didn't have the can uh, where I went. So we're gonna have to see. I'm I'm gonna try to keep it consistent. I feel like I should, I'm mean, at some point I'm gonna have to bring in Dos Equis, but Dos Equis just looks so much different when you pour it. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. But um, so anyways, for this for this round, round three of Mexican Beer Battles, blind taste test, Takati wins for the second week in a row. The defending champion, I'm gonna have to get like a, like a wrestling belt made up or something. But anyways, have you, what do you guys think? Have you done a blind taste test? What do you think about these beers? Are you a Takati fan? Do you ever do Pacifico? Maybe you just go back with the Corona Modelo, whatever. But um, let me know what you think. If you could like and subscribe, that'd be great. Also, I'll leave uh, links in the bottom. We got the podcast up and running for good. Check it out and blog down there. Check it out too. But anyways, for myself and for the champion Takati, take it easy.